ట్రైనింగ్ వెల్కమ్ టు దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ ఆన్లైన్ ట్రైనింగ్ అండ్ సో వెల్కమ్ టు వెల్కమ్ టు డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్స్ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్స్ అండ్ ఆల్గోరిథమ్స్ ఓకే విత్ జావా విత్ జావా ఓకే సార్ బ్యాచ్ నెంబర్ వన్ ఓకే దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ బ్యాచ్ సార్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ బ్యాచ్ ఐఎమ్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ సో ఐ థింక్ మెజారిటీ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ యూ మే నో అబౌట్ మై సెల్ఫ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ కె ప్రకాష్ బాబు సో హ్యావింగ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ సిక్స్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ సిక్స్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ యాజ్ అ టెక్నికల్ ట్రైనర్ ఓకే టెక్నికల్ ట్రైనర్ so dealing with various subjects starting from c2 till advanced java advanced python all these things right so you know already i have python batches java batches and logic based programming batches but today we are going to introduce a new batch okay we are going to introduce a new concept of course uh, which we have maximum demand in the market okay everyone if you touch any person so those persons are going to take sir do you know dsa data structures and algorithms do you know dsa if you know then immediately they will ask you questions because this dsa data structures and algorithms is very very important topic after learning your python or java okay if you are very strong at core python if you are very strong at core java then definitely this course is recommended okay maybe if you are attending the uh, interviews in a company or if you are already working working professional no problem but definitely this one is going to help you okay so it is going to talk about the real time scenarios how you can able to manage the data see getting the data from the user is very very essential in nowadays if you take any application definitely it is going to fetch the data from the user right sir i apply today i applied some uh, some some any for example i want to apply for some network connection okay i want to apply apply for some network connection sir i contacted some local person and i registered for some company in the online portal then what will happen i will receive n number of messages from that company like uh, so this is the plan we have or this is the future plans what we have and this is the opportunities which we are giving or this is nothing but the offer specially for you like that n number of things will be there that means what the company people are collecting the data from my side okay and they are going to process the data sir how you are going to process the data collecting the data itself is not sufficient how you can able to process the data how you can able to organize the data if any queries are coming how you can able to manage everything will comes under data structures in addition to that algorithms is also added here what is mean by algorithm sir if i want to prepare a simple program we will we will find a way right so a step by step process we are going to fix that. so that is called as algorithm okay so how to prepare a basic algorithm how you can able to calculate see if you are having a problem we have n number of solutions will be there for that problem like uh, sir i want to find out whether the given number is a prime number or not okay for that how many solutions we can accept sir four to five solutions will be there among these four to five solutions which solution is going to give best performance as a student or as a developer sir you can bring any one of this logic into your system but as a working professional when you are applying this logic in that particular software or in that particular project how much time it is taking to respond suppose if it is taking longer time you need to optimize that code right so for that purpose analysis of that algorithm is very very important so sir how you can able to analysis the algorithm like sir i want to travel from my native place to bangalore or i want to travel from bangalore to hyderabad sir there will be n number of paths will be there but which path i will select so maybe assume three to four ways are there in that the path which takes less number of kilometers i will choose because i can reach the target within a stipulated time period right sir there in my mind some algorithm is working 
so if you move in direction 1 it will take this time if you move in this direction 2 it will take some time if you move in this direction b it will take some time if you move in this direction 4 it will take some time like that sir i request every student to please switch off your video sadam hussein because maximum numbers are there that's why i request everyone to please be active so don't do this kind of activities so someone is switch on their video mode i request everyone to please switch off your video mode otherwise i will put them in the block list please yeah right so now this is nothing but uh, what we have sir sir in this uh, five to six paths which path i am going to select based on my brain i am implementing some algorithm this algorithm is called as shortest path okay so which will comes under graph theory in the graph theory we are going to have this particular algorithm sir okay uh, sir i request everyone to please be silent okay don't switch on your video modes and don't put any messages on the chat window let me take some session and then i will give time for you to answer all the queries okay please wait then sir then what we have to do how much time it is taking how much space it is taking is very very important for every algorithm sir how you can able to calculate how you can able to calculate the time taken how you can able to calculate how much space it is required yes it is mandatory for every algorithm that's why in this course how you can able to organize your data and what shortest code you can able to write so we are concentrating on these things but um, sir i have collected some data and i have in my brain some logic is there but which logic is going to work i calculated like uh, i applied some theoretical methods on time complexity i applied some theoretical methods on space complexity so the first path will take uh, 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 some 10 10 10 uh, hours time second path is going to take 2 hours time third path is going to take 5 hours time in this uh, which one is the best time complexity second path because within 2 hours we can reach the destination like that theoretical computation everything is ready with me then sir if you know how to organize the data mechanisms and if you know what kind of algorithms we have to apply and how to prepare that algorithm sir we need a language right so if you explain everything in a theoretical matter so the people who are coming from btech background there is one theory subject is there sir design and analysis of algorithms algorithms maybe so if you people know or don't know i don't know sir there is one subject is there called da design and analysis of algorithms the people who are coming from uh, it background i think uh, i mean it csc so they can understand this word sir means what sir we have to design a proper algorithm so we have to design the time complexity we have to calculate the time and space complexities from that the best algorithm we have selected sir now we have algorithm is there in our hand and we know clients also are ready to give their data sir we need to go into onboard project so we have to write the code right once if you write the code then that application is going to get the data from user in your organized manner okay then that application that application is going to submit that data to the server or database or file or anything okay so while retrieving also we can retrieve the data sir which algorithms we have to apply is there in our hand so for that compulsory you required a programming language okay so without without doing this okay without doing this we can't able to run sir we can't able to run any project without this we can't able to run any project so in this particular course what we are going to talk data structures we are going to discuss so almost we have 10 to 15 data structures are there everything we are going to cover and also algorithms sir we have bunch of algorithms are there minimum 20 to 30 algorithms we are going to cover and the programming language sir which we are using 
द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज नथिंग बट जावा सर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंटिन्यू टू दिस बैच If you want to continue learning this DSA, compulsory you should have a minimum knowledge on Java. Sir, I don't know anything about Java. Is it possible to continue? Means, sir, strictly speaking, it is not possible. Okay, compulsory you should have. Compulsory you should have idea about Java. Sir, if you don't know anything about Java, don't worry. Don't worry. I will give clarity on that. Sir, how you can able to do that? Okay. so how you can able to do that i will give clarity like uh, any any java sir parallelly i can attend java classes so yes you can do that so i will i will give clarity on that don't worry just a minute yeah so this is nothing but the main course agenda sir what is the main course agenda data structures we are going to cover algorithms we are going to cover by using which programming language java sir can you please tell me what is the syllabus that we are going to cover okay what is the syllabus we are going to cover on this yes we are going to have a huge syllabus and luckily sir this is the first batch which i am handling so that's why sir i may take some extra time okay so i may take some extra time and even i am going to plan new concepts for you people at very first time you can expect more content sir okay so if you are having any doubts or if you are having sir this is nothing but my requirement so can we include this in our syllabus means yes why can't if it is possible definitely i will add that one also sir into our course okay now you can able to see this is nothing but the syllabus what i am going to plan okay sir what things are there here you can able to see sir total almost 23 chapters i am going to cover i am going to share this link also for you people i am going to share this link also for you people in this the complete syllabus is available let me copy paste this chapter wise this is tentative syllabus sir okay this is tentative syllabus okay this is tentative syllabus okay sir have a look once first first we are going to talk about introduction to data structures and algorithms and what is a problem solving how you can able to solve the problems how you can able to prepare the algorithms what tools are required how you can calculate time and space complexities okay then notations are there asymptotic notations theta notation big o notation okay like that we have some notations are there so maybe if you if you are uh, from already csc background you know very well about these words but otherwise no worries i will explain in a more beautiful manner okay so aspects of algorithms sir how you can able to prepare mathematical algorithms how you can able to work on bitwise operations recursion okay sir you can't imagine that minimum 20 programs i am going to take only on recursion minimum 20 programs so what is the recursion how this recursion concept came into the picture so what is mean by finite recursion what is mean by infinite recursion what is the base condition so without base condition what is the flow of execution with the base condition how you can able to do that sir what is the real time scenario of recursion maybe you have heard towers of hanai okay like n number of big big problems will be there sir those things are simply you can able to solve by using recursion concept simply by using recursion concept you can able to solve sir how to do that and what advantages are there in recursion what disadvantages are there and we know arrays are the best data structures which we have in the programming language irrespective of programming language okay sir please wait please wait so irrespective of programming languages so arrays is nothing but the best data structure what we have okay so in c language we have arrays in c++ we have arrays in java also we have arrays so with the help of this arrays how to prepare a basic data structure sir data structure means what storing and organizing the data here also arrays are capable of storing the data right you can able to organize that data also in a sorting order if you want you can do in descending order ascending order you can perform efficient searching mechanisms n number of things we can do in arrays i want to add a new element to the array i want to remove an element from the array i want to apply some functionalities yes everything you can able to do here okay once if it is clear 
then the two dimensional arrays also we can discuss here which is nothing but matrices on the matrices we are going to cover n number of programs then searching and sorting techniques almost we have 10 to 15 sorting techniques and two searching techniques are there you know very well linear search and binary search with the graphical representation that i will show you with the diagram how the searching is going to be happen minimum two times by taking two examples i will clearly explain the algorithm then we will go with the implementation of this program in java okay in this also by using recursion how you can able to do without recursion how you can able to do that part also we will concentrate then as you know that linked list which is the best data structure in the market right sir how to create a linked list in the linked list so we have four types are there if you remember sir single linked list double linked list circular single linked list circular double linked list so i will explain the real time examples also where we can take this linked list okay soon after explanation of this syllabus i will go with some real time examples so minimum five examples i am going to take today where we can use these data structures with the live examples then as we know that stack is there so which technique stack is going to follow last in first out lifo technique that means the object which came at last will have highest priority okay the object which came last will have the highest priority assume sir a rack is there you are keep on keeping the books on the track sir the book which you have kept the latest is going to access first if you access in the middle what will happen the entire books will be collapsed right okay organizing the plates okay if you organize the plates one by one one by one like 20 plates if you keep which plate you will access first the plate which you have kept at last will be the first place that you are going to take sir which concept it is stack stack so especially in these 100 members if any girl students are there okay sir you can able to remember ma'am so when you are wearing the bangles so you are going to wear the bangles only in one side <laughs> okay so once if you insert five bangles the bangle which you have inserted at last will be the bangle which you are going to remove first right this data structure is called as stack internally so without knowing we are implementing the data structure in the day to day life and you know about the queues we have n number of queues are there we will talk about that later priority queues how you can able to work all these things we will discuss and binary trees binary search trees okay avl trees n number of red black trees like this we have so we will pick up some four to five trees and how to insert an element sir this is a tree is a very very important data structure okay in the real time where we can use that i will explain and we have hashing techniques are there hash tables so how the objects are stored in the data okay so hashing means what how you can able to apply hashing avl trees so how to implement dictionaries dictionaries or we can use the word called maps dictionaries means what so map map key value pairs will be there and how to represent the graph so just now i explained if you want to travel from one place to another place so in if you open google maps if you select the source and the destination n number of paths will be there it is called as a graph from which location to which location you want to go so among that what are the available paths it is nothing but a graph and we will talk about these beautiful algorithms like greedy algorithms backtracking algorithms dynamic programming in this minimum some two to three programs i will take on every algorithm so how you can able to solve like a salesman problem okay so zero by one apps are problem all these things with the help of java implementations we will do sir okay so this is nothing but what is the syllabus that we are going to cover on this course sir what about the duration okay what about the duration sir simple message don't ask about this duration minimum sir 2 to 3 months you can expect okay 2 to 3 months you can expect the timings of this batch is nothing but sir 7 pm to 8 pm you have okay sir monday to monday to maximum friday okay monday to friday so we will have so the duration of this course is from 2 to 3 months okay 2 to 3 months the timings will be there okay the timings are nothing but 7 pm to 8 pm 
so this is the first batch that's why we are taking huge amount of time and meanwhile so i may cancel one or two classes also okay uh, maybe weekly uh, you you won't expect the regular classes maybe monthly minimum two or three times i will cancel the classes because of maybe if anywhere preparation is required only because of you okay right if i want to give good content for you people definitely i need to prepare well right so by taking the real time examples how the code is going to work of course i have the programs but i need to explain for you people in a more understandable manner right so for that i may take some time okay don't worry but uh, maximum 3 months within that i can find up and sometimes sir in the beginning itself i am telling sometimes if if time requires i will take some special class on saturdays okay definitely i will take some special class on saturdays or else sundays also so be prepared for that because sometimes if i want to explain single linked list program and a double linked list program definitely i will plan on saturday or sunday because one and a half hour session is required or sometimes two hour session is required like how it is going to work so how you can able to connect from one node to another node so how you can able to connect from previous node to next node so to explain all these things continuation must be required see if you have a big problem is there i will cut that problem into individual pieces like how you are going to post mortem on any person so this is head this is nothing but uh, uh, hand one this is nothing but hand two this is nothing but heart but once if you connect uh, the functionality will be like this okay like i will divide every uh, every part like uh, sir if you take linked list inserting an item inserting an object into linked list sir a separate 10 minutes topic sir deleting an item from linked list sir 10 minutes topic so searching for an element in linked list sir 10 minutes topic so in the insertion sir you can insert at beginning you can insert at ending you can insert at any position for that 10 minutes or 15 minutes so first i will explain the algorithm then i will construct that algorithm into code we will copy paste that code so all the codes we will maintain all the parts of the program we will maintain something like uh, divide and uh, uh, combine policy okay we will divide the problem we will take all the pieces of code finally if all our analysis is completed we will bring all those pieces into a frame so that we can maintain a particular format okay like that our classes will be there for that uh, if you don't want to miss continuity definitely maybe in a month minimum two times i will take on weekends also you should be in a position to uh, um, what you can call attend and one more thing sir try to register for this course because the fees for this batch is nothing but sir you will get shock after seeing this right already you know 399 so no one is going to provide this course for this fees because at the introduction time we are giving this particular price sir okay you can't expect this price even in future also okay because very first time right so even for myself it will be like a practice okay so wherever concepts are getting struggled we will do some post mortem on that we will combined and we will take some uh, uh, solutions for that and finally we will get the result but once if batch is materialized next time onwards you can't expect the fees for this batch okay so that much content i am going to provide sir here we are not compromising with the content so content fees completely different aspects for this batch remember this word for this batch fees and content is no way related so even if the course exceed to 3 and half months also i am ready to provide the content okay but next time on what based on the materialized concepts whatever we have we will fix the fees okay so and one more time i am reminding if you are attending if you are attending these demo sessions maybe two days or three days will be there that's or not more than that immediately start registering for this course sir immediately start registering for this course sir to whom we have to contact 720 okay sir 721 2427 this is one number or you can contact sir 9246 
immediately 212143 immediately contact to this number and immediately you can start paying the fees okay because triple nine is not a matter right one or two movies the price okay and one more thing sir i don't know java but i am very much eager to continue this batch sir how you can able to do don't worry sir already core java batch is running okay core java batch is running at 7 am in the morning 7 am in the morning it is a new batch almost five classes completed five classes completed so you can you can register for this batch this batch fees is nothing but 5000 if you are willing just you can contact to the same numbers so i want to attend prakash sir core java classes at morning 7 am like that if you contact to admin team they will provide immediately access for them okay so already five classes completed tomorrow is the sixth class so parallelly if you are learning also no problem it will be very easy because at very beginning maybe one and a half week or two weeks uh, we are concentrating on algorithms only so there a simple simple java programs only i am going to cover okay so this is nothing but what is the content that i am going to deliver for you people as of now tentatively 23 chapters just at a top level i prepared sir but at finally we will get a document uh, with minimum 25 uh, to 30 chapters okay and i hope every topic i included here and compulsory java knowledge must be required if you want to continue without java it is not possible sir better to plan accordingly java also then it will be fine okay sir now it's time for you to ask queries so i will give answers for every query so please post it on chat window please post it on chat window okay um yeah please i will wait uh, please please wait please wait so almost 15 questions are there please wait sir i will answer all questions then you can put the remaining questions please wait remaining people so i know data structures but i don't to apply logic in questions so um, yeah definitely avinash definitely it will be useful see i am going to explain every concept i will bring that concept into uh, our real time scenarios sir will this syllabus be sufficient to solve microsoft and amazon company level lead code problems see uh, punam uh, problem solving is different from the data structures and algorithms so they can give any problem you need to analyze the algorithm first of all then implementation will become very different see everything is a different different aspects but definitely this code will help you up to which percent 70 percent rest of the things you have to think sir i know data structures i am ready to implement the program is no logical thinking is also required parallelly you can able to do okay sir this is not a programming batch again i am telling it is not programming branch so here we are not going to solve the problems if you want to learn problem solving better to go for logic based course here we are doing post mortem on the algorithms data structures what are there in the market and how to bring that data structures into real time scenarios like uh, just now i told bangles or plates arrangement so suppose consider i want to prepare a movie ticket reservation system there suppose maybe five to six members are um, uh, made a payment for the ticket reservation or they are applying for ticket reservation the person who came first in the queue we have to process that request there which data structure we are going to implement queue data structure how to implement that in our java that part i am going to explain clear yeah a lot of people are interested to join but the capacity is full yeah yeah yes i can understand because the time um uh, sorry the limit got exceeded okay no worries we will looking for alternatives for this okay don't worry yeah merge sort quick sort bubble sort selection sort everything will be covered radix sort everything will be covered with examples lifo yeah yeah sir ah uh, yeah that's what i told right the meeting is showing full but don't worry uh, we are looking for alternative for that sorry for that uh, uh, inconvenience okay the batch is going to start immediately sir this is the first class only only two to three demos will be there then immediately you can join yeah bits manipulations also we are going to cover krishna gupta 
so if you miss the class definitely you have to watch the recordings but my sincere suggestion is don't miss the class okay don't miss the class so because live sessions are very very important especially in data structures if it is a core concept like theory concept sir when i am talking about recursion or if i want to take about a for loop syntax of for loop how it is going to work one or two examples even if you watch that video one year later also you can able to understand but linked list how that a diagram flow so how you can able to connect from one node to another node see whatever concepts i am explaining on that one hour you have to forget the entire thing in your brain you have to concentrate on our class then only it will be fulfilled otherwise nothing will happen parallelly you have to uh, uh, you have to match my mindset okay like how i am going to take so then only you can able to continue this okay after this course completion recorded sessions will be available yes as of now as usual 6 months or 7 months availability will be there yes recording videos we will provide with the 7 months access running notes full fledgedly i will give sir are you providing recording sessions yeah python as of now it is not python sir please uh, ignore it is only for java Yeah, recorded videos I will provide. Don't worry. Yeah, basics of design think. Yes, Kiran, definitely we will do. That is the main concept of algorithms. So, how to prepare the algorithms from the scratch? We will start. The batch will start immediately. No, we are not going to touch any hacker rank or lead code. Anything. We are explaining the theoretical principle of data structure. so how to prepare algorithm for that how to bring into the application that's all sachin as of now no interview questions but definitely we will plan in that yes up to certain up to certain limit you can able to crack any interviews sir because so you know dsa based questions if you are getting after completion of this course definitely you can able to answer no it is not a programming course sir it is data structures so i am not answering for all the questions because majority of the questions are uh, repeatedly asking like videos yes recorded videos we will provide and even this video is also uploaded into youtube within few minutes no it is not possible to record by yourself and even that uh, recording download also you can't able to do yeah notes will be provided sushil yes we will do that on the future classes dynamic programming on very first day last chapter you are asking so what is dynamic programming what is the principle of dynamic programming everything will be there yeah placements you can see that in our telegram group okay yeah timing is fixed this batch timing is from 7 pm to 8 pm here we are not going to use any tools only java we are going to use yeah if you want to get both the competitive programming already sir one more batch is there logic based programming logic based programming you can search on youtube you will get it so this batch is also currently running at 8 pm latest almost uh, some 20 problems i discussed out of 350 so we have 350 programs are there in this so we have solved 20 programs till now it is completely programming based if anyone interested in programming based you can go for that so we are going to provide implementation in c java and python in all these languages we are providing the implementation okay so this fees is rupees 2000 yeah some people are asking always about the coding you please contact to admin team and ask them for prakash sir logic based programming classes at 8 pm you can get kartika you can able to understand uh, what is a big o notation 
what is the omega notation theta notation everything with examples i will provide pavan that will be depends on practice no there won't be any clashes for uh, batches rashmi 7 to 8 tsa 8 to 9 logic based yes videos will be provided yeah ca for campus placements it will be provided sir yes we will we will uh, give the best from our side okay by including all the content don't worry if you want to implement a dsa just you need to have a knowledge on java yes avl trees p trees also we are going to cover guru ji please don't send again and again same message i told right we are going to start dsa with python maybe in further not now okay c c++ with dsa i am not going to start this batch is only for dsa with java okay i already told right probably the batch capacity will be fixed by our admin team but as of now i don't know about that we are trying to increase the class strength limit no online videos won't be available sir my recommendation uh, even if you purchase the course better to try to attend the classes in live because uh, this is not like a normal theory class or logic based class by understanding the problem statement you can able to get because it is a completely uh, your involvement should be there yeah you can ask live queries in the course no problem for this pre request it is only java no morning batch only evening yes running notes will be provided sir yeah we will try to uh, insert interview questions while taking the concepts okay uh no 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 compulsory programming background must be required that to especially java knowledge must be required because i am going to use a collections concept i am going to use exception handling i am going to use generics concept everywhere i am going to use all these things okay so compulsory knowledge must be required okay dsa with java means <laughs> data structures and algorithms implementation will be there in java guru ji again and again why you are putting the same message i already told this batch is only with java not with any other language once who have done the payment you can send a screenshot to durga soft online training at gmail.com okay no we are not going to touch any design patterns <clears throat> krishna no no those advanced topics we are not going to cover no rohit rohit it is not pattern related programs here want to be there that will be covered in logic based programming so here we are going to expect more than 100 programs on patterns yeah everything will be implemented double link list circular link list everything 
for every for every program i mean for every concept we will take minimum 2 to 3 examples <coughs> yeah that's what i told logic based programming already is there at 8 pm so if anyone interested please register please contact to this numbers yes avl tree coding we are going to do yes all the chapter implementations will be there stack queue linked list priority queues everything yeah tomorrow class will be there same timing uh, please wait sir don't leave the meeting because tomorrow link is going to change i will share now yeah saturday sunday maximum holiday no there won't be any clashes for this batches logic based separately and uh, this one is separately no 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 logic based programming is a separate batch this one is a separate batch for joining into this dsa compulsory java knowledge must be required but for logic based programming knowledge at least if you have some 20 to 30% it will be sufficient because we are starting from the scratch there but here we will start from advanced yeah live queries will be there i told already right java complete java you required sir oops concepts exception handling okay multi threading next and after that uh, collections these things are mandatory sometimes i may take one or two mini projects also so in that database connectivity is also required
these are not offline classes only online yeah we can ask questions in live but uh, today demo right maximum students are there that's why i'm not going to give the permission yeah strings concepts also will be there on strings we are going to cover maximum 20 to 30 applications Yeah, we are going to cover all the basic CRUD operations on every data structure, Max. For IDE, we will see, sir. Majority of the times, I will use Edit Plus only. But if time require, we will shift. No, it will be there only on Zoom. No problem, Odeshri. These videos will be available for you up to seven months. Yeah, no problem, Pratik. It will be good. Once if whoops started, then it will be fine. Logic based programming means almost you can expect more things like uh, every concept will be covered there. You can watch in the videos, uh, in the YouTube demo videos are there. Yes, 8 p.m. batch is going on. Yeah, you can join both, no problem. No, current course and uh, logic based programming is uh, not relevant. Yeah, this video will be uploaded within a few minutes in the YouTube. Yeah, just a second. <coughs> Sir, from tomorrow, the link is going to change. Uh, one minute, I will share that link for you people. Yeah, so this is nothing but the link. Just to please wait, I will share. But uh, so many questions are there. First, let me answer all those questions. Don't leave the meeting. At the end, I will share that. Yeah. So I'm sharing the new link on the chat window. You can able to copy paste. And the logic based videos also, just a minute, I will share. You can able to refer that. Yeah, so this is nothing but the playlist of logic based programming course. So those who are interested, you can contact to the admin numbers, whatever I have given, and you can register for both. Yeah, right. I hope all your doubts got clarified. Okay, so today just I have given only syllabus overview and what is our course plan. That's all. I didn't provide more than this, right? So tomorrow we will meet for the continuation. So tomorrow agenda is nothing but I am going to define what is mean by data structure. Okay, what is mean by data structure? What is the classification of data structure and how the data structures will be useful in real-time scenarios? I have almost 20 real-time scenario examples are there. So maybe one by one we will see. Okay.
yes so i am sharing that link again in the chat window please use that pre requisite before studying bsa is java knowledge must be required java knowledge must be required okay right so thank you you can leave the session rest of the things we will continue tomorrow okay yeah very good those who have paid the fee send a screenshot to durga soft online training at gmail.com so try to register as early as possible okay right sir thank you up to which topic java knowledge sir total java must be required i told already because we will concentrate on oops concepts mainly like how to create a constructor so how to get setters and getter methods how to overload the methods so how to use the collections everything will be there okay that's why right thank you good evening students welcome to durga soft online training and welcome to data structures and algorithms with java okay this is nothing but uh, sir batch 1 batch 1 this is the first batch and the first time i am handling this subject in durga soft already i handled data structures but with java and with new concepts i came with this particular course okay and myself k prakash babu having 16 years of experience as technical trainer so here data structures we are going to cover and some basics of algorithms also we are going to see and the implementation of these things will be in java that's why i request everyone those who are having the minimum knowledge in java okay like oops concepts my multi threading all these things uh, uh, are not required exception handling multi threading those things are not required but anyway whenever it requires i will give one or two points related to that but make sure you have to get full fledged idea on this java sir especially oops concepts 
i request everyone to please don't post any questions while lecture is going on okay yeah so next term the tentative syllabus of course already there in our website you can cross check durgasoft.com there you can able to see and the tentative syllabus we are going to talk about introduction to dsa and then how you can able to solve the problem how you are going to analyze the problem what steps you are going to take for preparing the algorithm all these things and the time and the space complexities how you can able to calculate theoretically okay sir what are the notations used to represent time and space complexities what are the different aspects of algorithms are available and we will see mathematical algorithms then bitwise operations on this uh, numbers how recursion is going to work maximum programs we are going to cover on recursion so arrays strings matrices searching and sorting techniques we have 15 sorting techniques are there in my hand every sorting technique with program with live examples by analyzing that algorithms we will explain and linked list so we know single double circular all the types of linked list so already we have predefined data structures are there in java we will use those predefined also at the same time how to create user defined also we are going to see in this next and after that stack how to implement a stack by using java what the principal stack is going to follow so what is mean by queue what are the different types of divisions are there in the queue so what is mean by binary tree what are the different trees are existed like uh, so red black trees okay avl trees so height balance trees p trees p plus trees so binary search trees how to implement all those things so hash tables hashing technique okay collisions how you can able to resolve the collisions linear probing quadratic probing all these things so avl trees dictionaries and maps also we are going to cover graph theory so some algorithms like a greedy algorithm back tracking algorithm dynamic programming these things we are going to cover and the duration of this course is 2 to 3 months okay but as of now 2 months is the target but this is the first time right sometimes i may take some less sessions sometimes uh, sir explanation will become more complex like i need to take multiple uh, examples for you to understand so first time it takes some time sir that's why 2 to 3 months duration minimum 3 months it will be wind up okay sir the timings of this class is from 7 pm to 8 pm only on weekdays that is monday to friday we have these classes saturday and sunday we don't have any class but if any time demands we will give saturday and sunday also maybe one hour or two hours like that rarely i will take sir and first time we are launching this uh, course right that's why the fees for this batch is rupees 1000 that is 399 okay those who are having interest to continue this batch you can make the payment immediately and get registered for this course and if you want to if you want to continue this batch so i am going to share the numbers on chat window so try to try to make a call to this numbers and make your admission confirm okay then so next term sir core java uh, very very important majority of the students having doubt sir what is a prerequisite for this sir nothing is required but since we are providing implementation in java compulsory you should have core java knowledge sir i don't know anything about core java no it is not possible okay it is not possible so if you want to attend parallelly my java batches are also available so core java batch is running at morning 7 o'clock only six classes completed okay if you want you can contact to this same number and you can get registered for this fees is 5000 and sir i am interested in programming i want to learn the program sir we have some program is there like logic based programming okay just now we have started this batch so every program sir have a look once so every program implementation will be there in all three languages like we have the programs from basic to advanced level almost uh, sir 300 300 plus programs we are going to cover okay if you are willing for that you can continue that course also 
that batch is from 8 pm to 9 pm okay almost we are going to cover 350 programs and every program explanation will be there in c java and python for this physics 2000 so this is optional for you sir it is not recommended but the person who are very interested to continue in data structures in learning data structures but i don't know anything about java better to complete java and then get back this or parallel if you want this is the option what we have okay right sir this is our previous class demo whatever i have discussed in last last class the duration of the logic based programming is uh, two months the core java duration is also two months so this is nothing but whatever things we covered in the last videos okay sir that's all this is the demo what we have taken in the last class okay sir please confirm if you are having any queries up to these if you confirm then i will go with uh, our first class any doubts up to this right sir logic based programming java programming if you want to communicate just contact to the admin team they will provide the access now current live batch is going on so you can you can go through that live batch is going on at 8 o'clock okay logic based programming yes that's what i am talking payment link you can contact admin yes graphs in depth also we are going to cover in the graph theory so graph coloring everything we are going to teach yeah the basics of dsa here we are going to cover with the help of that you have to put your effort also sir directly the questions or the concepts what i am explaining so will not be sufficient in addition to that your practice also required because the company top mnc companies will put a questions on ds only right if they are asking how you can delete a node from a single link list you should be in a position to respond apart from that they won't ask any questions so you have to write the code for that at least you have to explain through the diagram okay directly after attending this course you, you won't get job sir so compulsory your effort is also very very important okay yeah basics to maximum advanced level 70 percent we are going to cover yeah videos will be given for you seven months access again i am repeating the videos will be given for you seven months access running notes lifetime validity i will provide okay Praveen, it is a Java program. So that's why we can use any IDE like Eclipse or NetBeans or IntelliJ or uh, uh, VS Code, anything you can use. But as of now, I am simply using uh, this Edit Plus. Okay. Because it is very easy in learning stage, right? That's why. Yeah, dynamic programming also we are going to cover. Yeah, today LBP batch is not there. no so because at very first time we are launching the course right that's why we have given with uh, less price next time you can't able to imagine the fees of this batch lead code all these things are related to the problem solving here we are concentrating on implementing the data structures both are different context prajwal java is uh, programming language okay so even for this you can't expect the fees at very first time that's why we have kept this okay java is a complete theory concept man n number of things will be there on that they will say directly you can make a payment okay our admin people will share the details please wait so then you can take a screenshot of that payment details you can make a payment send a screenshot to durgasoft online training at gmail.com okay yeah definitely subrat definitely it will be helpful yes yes 
nine months access. Yes. Yes, logic based programming. I am dealing. Yeah, parallelly you can join both. No problem. Sir, you can ask the doubts by unmuting yourself. But uh, today, because of this uh, huge crowd, I am not giving any permission. Sorry. Okay. So once uh, if uh, our regular class is started, so almost the number of students are going to be reduced, right? After payment, then I will provide you the access. If the question is very serious, logical programming batch duration two months, sir. Please don't ask repeated doubts. Yeah. A uh, logic based programming, no prerequisite is required. Directly you can join. Okay. Please contact to that numbers, whatever I have shared, sir. You can please share the, uh, you can please take a screenshot of these two numbers. You can contact to these numbers at your free time. Now admins will be busy. So please contact them. Okay. They will provide you the access. Okay. So if you want to just, I am dropping one mail ID. First contact admin. Okay. So then you can drop a mail to this uh, mail ID. So I will make admin to call you. Okay. Yeah, right. Yes, space complexity algorithms will be started from scratch. Sunny. Yeah, sir, please put your doubts ahead. Just I am going to start the class, right? Yeah, fine. Sir, first of all, sir, I will, my my style of teaching, okay, sir, please, code chef, all these things are not covered in this Narasimha Prasad. Lead code, code chef, hacker rank, those are called as problem solving approaches. Okay, problem solving approaches. Better you can refer my logic based videos, which was there in YouTube, you can refer that. Don't talk about lead code or code chef or hacker rank here because this is the data structure. Theory part, how we are going to provide implementation for these data structures, we are covering, not solving the problems. Okay, problem solving means what? Taking two numbers, performing addition operation, threatening the result. This is problem solving. Okay, now, sir, if n number of students are coming, in what order I am taking the input, how I am managing that uh, data and how I am going to give the best way of uh, service. So for that, what data structures we have to implement, that part I am talking here. Okay. Yeah, this is the theory and practical, both will be there. Theory will be there at the same time, practical implementation will be there in Java. Yes, yes. I am going to give all the things. Avinash, please wait. Yeah. Sir, please don't ask any doubts as of now. I will give time. Please stop putting the messages in chat window. Please, sir. Right. Sir, now, um, sir, n number of real-time applications are there for data structures. But of course, I can't take that real-time examples directly. I can't go 